Well, I'm excited because I got a softbox. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it with a studio strobe and how to use it with a speed light. Now, what I've been using up to now are umbrellas, like one of these. Now, the great thing about umbrellas is that they're really fast to set up. They're really light and they're really flexible. Um, this one you can either reflect light off of or you can take the cover off and you use a flash to shoot through it. And uh, so that's a nice thing. And another nice thing about them is when you use them, light goes everywhere, pretty much. Uh, the bad thing is, or the bad things are, is that light goes everywhere, pretty much. And that may not be what you want. It has very poor uh, control over the light. Um, basically, anything behind the strobe, if you've got this uh, black cover on, it gets some light control, but everything in front of it uh, is lit by the umbrella. They're also very weak. Just one little fall and they'll be destroyed. And another not so nice thing about them is that they can give kind of ugly reflections. I'm actually using an umbrella on an alien beast to illuminate me right now. And you can see this sort of weird shaped reflection in this wine glass. So that's not so nice. Now the first thing you need is your softbox itself. Uh, this is a Calumet. This is actually a carrying case that came with it. And this is a 24, a 24 by inches by 32 inch softbox, which would be perfect for uh, headshots. Uh, maybe a little bit small for a fashion shoot, uh, where you probably want either something bigger or uh, Octobox or something like that. Um, but this is a good general purpose one. Uh, as you can see, it's all flattened out. doesn't look like much. And it comes with four rods built in. And I'll show you those, uh, how to use those in a minute. But these are all just built into the softbox. It also comes with an extra rod, I guess, in case one breaks. But they seem pretty strong. Uh, seem to be made of steel, as far as I can tell. A very springy steel. It also comes with an inner baffle. I'll show you how to install that. And it also comes with an outer diffuser, which is the part you normally can see uh, when you look at a softbox. And it has Velcro all along the edges, as you'd expect. Now, uh, this part of the kit costs, I think, about $70 US. But that's not all you need. You also need one of these. This is a speed ring. Now, my understanding, although I'm not totally sure about this, is that every softbox works with every speed ring. The part you have to be careful with is that your speed ring has to be compatible with your strobe. Now, I this is a, I think it's called a Photoflex. It costs about $40 US. Um, and you can get cheaper ones and more expensive ones. And Alien Bees themselves sells one as well. But this one I just got from B B H Photo. Uh, let's see. And this one is the what's called the Balkar style. It'll say it on the label. Uh, and that works with white lightning, white lightning, and Alien Bees, which is what I'm what I'll be showing how to use. And uh, with that, you pretty much have everything except for your strobe. So now I'll set up the softbox. I have my speed ring here ready to go. A really solid piece of aluminum. Now the softbox has four rods in it, one for each corner. And it has these, uh, or at least this particular model, has these, um, well, I don't know what you call them, these uh, really thick ends, which fit directly into holes in the side of the speed ring. And yes, they go into the side. And so, I'll start with two opposing corners, if I have the right one here. Put them there. Take the opposite corner. Slide it in there. So that part's not too bad, but now it starts to get a little harder, and I make it difficult for myself. Let me stick in the third corner, and now it's starting to take some shape. And then it's the hardest one, it's to fit in this last corner. And now, all these rods are really screaming from being bent so much. But that's okay, they're designed to dent. 
be bent that much. We'll just struggle to get this last one in, and there it goes. Putting it together isn't so bad. Uh, it's taking it apart that gets a little difficult. Now it's time to mount the softbox to this Alien B Studio strobe. Now the Alien B system comes with these two spring-loaded clips, and normally you put this uh, aluminum cone around it and clip it with these spring-loaded clips. But this time, instead, we'll put those clips onto this softbox of speed ring. And that's quite easy. You just squeeze the clips closed, put the speed ring on, let the clips go. I had that quite on there, right? There. And that's it. And uh, because of the design, you can spin it as much as you want horizontally or vertically. Now this is, having it mounted on the strobe is the easiest way to finish off the construction of the softbox. Because one thing it needs is this interior baffle. Uh, because we have such a sort of a hot spot from this strobe in the middle here, this helps diffuse that light before getting to the uh, front diffuser. And it just has one clip at each corner, and the softbox has these little loops to connect them to. And so it's pretty easy to get these hooked up to all four corners. And they have some oops, elastic on the ends so that they'll stretch out real easy. See, it's pretty quick to do if you're uh, in a hurry during a photo shoot. This part isn't too bad. And uh, there's some cases where you may not even want to use this. If you're competing with sunlight, say, you may want to remove the baffle and uh, just go with the front diffuser, which you do need, of course. Uh, this has uh, Velcro hooks all along the edge or sorry, the loops all along the edge, and the front diffuser has the hooks all along the edge. And you, so you just stick it on. As long as you don't get in your own way while doing it. And seal it up nice like that on all four sides. And then, you can see in the back, it has Velcro loops and hooks. And so this will let you control the light by letting you seal up the back. Something like this. That way, not too much light will leak out. And you still have access to all your controls on your strobe. And it makes for a very easy, reliable system that you can still spin vertically or horizontally. Now, what if you wanted to use a speed light with a softbox? Well, there's many ways to do it. I decided to go the official route and got one of these from uh, Photoplex, uh, the same manufacturer that makes the speed ring. Uh, it's an adapter to use, specifically to use a speed light with their uh, speed ring. It has a cold shoe here and a couple of brackets. And so what you do, there's a standard plastic um, flash bracket, or I forgot what these are called, flash bracket or something. And uh, you just use some of the regular hardware that comes with it, this uh, copper thing with a quarter inch thread on one end and an eighth inch thread on the other. And you can mount this eighth, eighth inch thread onto the bottom of the cold shoe. Like that, as tight as you can make it. Put the flash bracket onto your light stand. Put the copper thing in there. And you may need to sort of tighten it and use it sort of like a wrench to get it really tight. Tight as you can make it. OK. 
Okay. Now, this uh, can be adjusted up and down according to the height of your strobe, your speed light. So we'll just leave it sort of in the middle there. Now, this is the key here. This has an eighth inch thread on this screw. Now this particular uh, speed ring, and remember, both this adapter and the speed ring are made by the same company, Photoflex. So this speed, particular speed ring, if you can see here, has not only the regular holes for the rods of the softbox, it also has an eighth inch threaded hole, which may be a little tough to see here, with these holes next to it that fit right onto this uh, screw. Oops, the wrong one. So you just tighten it on there. Like that. Now you've got your cold shoe sitting right there. What you do is you take your strobe, mount it right in there, and tighten it into the cold shoe. And I can tell this uh, softbox is a little too low, so I need to adjust it up a little. Like that. Now I can tighten the speed light in. Nice thing is it also comes with a second cold shoe that you can put right behind the first. And what's that for? Well, if you use pocket wizards, that'll mount right in there. You can connect it up. Turn everything on. And oops, I got a second pocket wizard here. Oh, that one was turned on. And the batteries are dead. How about this one? There we go. And get them on the same channel. And there you go. Now for me, the trickiest part about using a softbox is taking it apart. Uh, I've already removed the front diffuser and the baffle and I've found so far the easiest way to do it is to put it speed ring down like this on the floor then put my elbow into one corner and push it down to try to flatten it out as much as I can and then slip one of the rods out uh, by pressing on the corner it seems to give me the straightest path. And it's starting to come out now. Whew, there it goes. Now the others are a lot easier, or so I say. There it is. I hope there's an easier way that I'll figure out one of these days, but it does work. This takes a little sweat. Now you can just fold this up. And it's all ready for its carrying case.